Welcome back to Art by Brooke. This is my first Art Journal With Me video. Today's journal page is inspired by a tutorial from Tammy Garcia of the blog Daisy Yellow Art. There will be a link to her post in the description. For this page, I covered the background in gesso to prep it and help seal it a little since I knew I was going to use watercolors. Then, I tried not to think too hard about how I was laying the color down and just went with the feeling of putting paint on paper. I chose a smaller brush because I could tell from the tutorial that it would be best to have colors closer together and I figured the movement of covering a page with a smaller brush would help me loosen up. This video was made back in December, but I had so much trouble with the footage that I thought I lost half of it until recently. The whole feeling of the page still rings very true for me, so I decided I still wanted to share it with you. I've been really struggling with the types of art that are my creative outlets, specifically art journaling, which allows me to be more raw without the expectation of a finished piece to sell or hold up as art. It has been a combination of creative block and personal issues in my life holding me back from being vulnerable and open with myself in my art journals. Because of all of this mental clutter around my more personal art forms, I knew I needed to find a tutorial to follow. And not just any tutorial out there, but something really, really simple to keep me from overthinking the entire process. I've always loved the Daisy Yellow blog, and Tammy has really been an inspiration to me with her wonderful use of color and loving way of approaching art journaling. I chose this tutorial and started working on it. Right away, having a paintbrush in my hand did feel really good. Before I could think about it too much, I started pushing color around. While gesso on a regular paper isn't ideal for watercolor, I just love the process of working on the page again. And this was a really easy way to boost my confidence. In the past, when I've taught art classes, one of the most interesting things I notice is that kids will jump right into a creation with little to no prompting. But adults will often sit frozen, not really knowing what to do or where to start. Obviously, I have been relating more to the adults lately. In my experience, offering a lot less materials and a very simple process is the best way to start getting someone more comfortable with expressing themselves artistically. I had to take my own advice here. It can be really tricky to get out of a mental block, but limiting yourself to very few basic materials such as watercolor, a pen, some gesso, and some black paint can be a way to avoid getting overwhelmed or letting perfectionism sneak in. In this next part of the video, I sketched out some circles and then painted everything outside of them solid black. This was another relaxing process. If we want to think about it symbolically, this process is a good way to describe blocking out all of the noise and just allowing what is helpful and healthy to show through. If we want to think about it more in line with my mindset at the time, this process allowed me to paint all over a page and add some negative space. I could have skipped the circles and just painted a big stripe through the middle of the page, or maybe painted a blob covering most of the colors. If you need to jumpstart your page, don't overthink it, and just go with what feels right in the moment. Sometimes a paintbrush is just too much pressure, so I dip my fingers into the paint and just make a mess. Art, and specifically your art journal page, doesn't need to look any certain way or even appeal to anyone except you. Even if you end up hating it, at least you have created something, and the next time you try to create will be just a tiny bit easier because of it. I often choose to use a quote in my art instead of my own words because trying to come up with my own unique phrases can often just increase my anxiety over an empty page. So I find something that resonates with me and I use it somewhere on the page. Pinterest can be a great place to find quotes if you aren't sure what you want. Keep a board filled with quotes that appeal to you at any given time and just browse that when you're stuck or in need of words. Another way to find quotes can be to search something along the lines of the theme you want to express, combined with the word quotes. 
In this case, I might have searched inspiration quotes or writer's block quotes. I hope coming along this journey with me has helped you in some way to get back into whatever you have been putting off. Your personal comfort and your well-being is just as important as the image you present to others or the others you care for in your life. If you have any suggestions for ways to beat art blocks in your life, I would love to hear them in the comment section. With the support of each other, we can keep working toward making really fun art. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. Please let me know if this is a video format that you enjoy. What else would you like to hear about or see? Start writing, no matter what. The water does not flow until the faucet is turned on. By Louis L'Amour